Today's video, I'm going to show you the best way to play Mabel defense or Mabel coverage in Madden 24. And we're going to show this out of the Big Nickel over G defense. Now, if you want to get my entire Big Nickel offensive or defensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a Patreon member, and it's going to get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. Got a brand new Big Nickel over G guide in there for you guys. So if you're not a member yet, make sure you sign up. The link's going to be down below. I think this is the best way to play uh, Mabel coverage right now in Madden 24. And what a Mabel coverage is, it's basically a double flat in terms of Madden. It's We call it Mabel. Um, it's not exactly what a real NFL team would call Mabel, but it is a double flat. Essentially, what we're trying to do is we're trying to defend the sidelines and stop corner routes. This is the best defense of the game to stop corner routes, best defense of the game to stop crossing routes. And so we're going to put our flats on 25. Our curl flats are going to be on five. And then um, you can put your zone coverage on match. And then I like to use a base align. Now, the biggest thing you need to understand when you're running a Mabel coverage is in Madden, especially Madden 24, the zones are a little bit different than you might think, okay? And it's based off of this grid system that essentially is going to be dividing the field in hash marks. So in this example, I'm going to run this with my bunch uh, to, the, to the wide side of the field. What that means is the ball's on the left hash mark, my bunch is to the right, and there's more grass to the right side of the screen. So if I run a streak, a corner, and a flat, oftentimes what's going to happen when you do this with your bunch to the wide side is this corner route has potential to be able to get over the top of a 30-yard cloud flat, okay? But that same exact adjustment, if I put that outside defender in an outside third zone, now what you're going to see, see everything is exactly the same here. But now watch that outside third. He is going to play. He's going to play that uh, deep corner route. The reason why is because the inside third is responsible for defending any routes that are up the seam area of the field. Well, the seam area of the field is between the numbers um, on both sides, on, on essentially from numbers to numbers in the middle sections of the field. And you can see it uh, even if we just look at this basic um, image here that I'm going to pull up with the zones adjusted. You'll see here this inside third. He's playing, and essentially he's primarily for sure looking at these seams. But the seam area of the field is from the hash marks to the numbers. So if a receiver runs a vertical route in the hash mark to the number section of the field, then the outside third is, or the inside third is going to take that vertical uh, streak. So then that outside third is now able to simply kind of sit on the corner route when it's ran to the wide side of the field. Which is why uh, most competitive Madden players and most competent, I would say competent Madden players, Understand this. So what they want to do is they want to run their bunch to the short side of the field. Okay. And let me explain why this matters. Now that clear out streak, as opposed to being in the seam area of the field, he's actually on the numbers just slightly to the inside, but really he's kind of basically on the numbers here. And so because he's close enough to the numbers, now that inside third is going to avoid him. The outside third is going to take him and it's going to leave that corner out open and people are going to throw that on you again and again and again. So the same principle is going to hold true. Now, if we try to do any kind of flow uh, to the left-hand side, that's a little bit different um, in, in this example that I'm about to show you, but basically the idea is still, base, is still very, very much the same. And essentially the idea is this. If I try to put a streak, a crosser, and maybe a backside dig, when I run this with my bunch to the short side, that third has a lot more wiggle room to be able to break on this crosser. Both of them actually do. Okay, um, so that is another example of these thirds being really, really good when you're using them to the wide side. That is really important. So in essence, what we want to do to properly run a Mabel coverage is we want to really take advantage of what we call rolling the safeties. So we're going to put um, our solo wide receiver side outside corner into a outside third. We're going to put the safety into a middle third, and then we're going to put the other safety into an outside third uh, to the right. Now, the reason um, this is really important 
So the reason this is really, really valuable is because now what we're able to do, and this is kind of an over G specific stock adjustment sequence, you can get safety adjustments by putting your safety at Nickelback package, um, you know, safety, strong safety at Nickelback package or FS slot uh, packages, depending on the formation you're in. But anyway, we have that guy in the outside third now, and then we're able to drop the double Mabel coverage. We can even drop a defensive lineman in this case in that five yard curl flex. All he's got to do is take away, you know, a basic flat pattern. And now that 25 yard zone drop doesn't have as much field space for the corner rat to actually get over the top of it. And so what you'll see is he will actually almost always take away any kind of corner route to that side of the field. This is also provided that he is not pressed. If he is pressed, one of the things um, that has happened with movement in next gen, if he is a press cloud, he just simply will not get deep enough. And oftentimes they will throw right over the top of his head. So what you want to do, if you want to press to get your safeties in the box, make sure you individually back off that cloud flat. You don't have to back off the other guy, even though you can, um, but it, it really is irrelevant. Um, this is going to give you the ability to play this Mabel concept here on the right hand side. And I think having the vertical hook only helps, but I'll show you one other quick tip with big nickel um, to, to uh, kind of combat that. And that would basically just be to use a different coverage. So we can base out of a cover three and now you see how that slot corners in the uh, purple zone. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to press and we're going to back that guy off. And now we're going to, create the coverage that we want and then we can you know essentially be in the defense like this and now we can send four and we have a really nice mabel coverage to the right hand side they're not going to be able to flood us to the right and if they try to flood us to the left well we have that outside third that's going to be uh kind of causing them trouble so you see here that outside third would be able to play things like crossers or deep post routes or anything like that Super effective way to run Mabel coverage. Obviously, it's not the end-all be-all. Another thing I did want to quickly point out um, that you can do out of over G uniquely is you can also drop this safety into an outside third. What this allows you to do is if you ever need a 30-yard cloud on both sides of the field, you could get into a coverage that looks like this. Again, we're just sitting three people, but the beauty of this is now you're still going to get good sheds because you're blitzing your user, and now you do have that you know, double flat on both sides and they have to throw the ball in the middle of the field, which is where your user is. If you want to take your game to the next level, appreciate you watching this video. Make sure you join the Patreon. The link's going to be down below. 10 bucks will get you access to all of my eBooks, everything that we have defensively and offensively in Madden. Just dropped a massive update, update to our over G defensive guide in the Patreon for our members. Make sure you check that out if you're not, uh, or if you are a member. And if you're not a member, make sure you sign up. The link's in the description. 10 bucks to make you a better Madden player. Great deal. And I uh, really think it will make you um, a much better Madden player. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.